Oh, going so deep. K9 almost able to connect it. Close out that second stock pretty early for Cosmos, but still not able to find it. There's the rapid jab from Cosmos, inking up K9 S Bruce. No, fully inked Wolf. It's going to be really hard for no, K9 to like make this comeback just because he has to take out this full stock. And if Cosmos is playing it like he does, not like that apparently because. No, just like that, one quick down smash, and now we are at even stocks, but I don't think Cosmos is going to let K9 try to take uh, control of this match from that. I mean, he continues to just wrap the jab, K9 all the way to 97. That's full ink. going to add a little bit more more oomph to Cosmos' hits. And 114, yeah, I think we're at the sweet percent. Yep. Especially with that ink to just add on the extra damage. No, you saw that, like, I believe K9 was trying to go for a grab, but then... Inkling just kind of like dashed underneath it, kind of like plopped into the ground and then got a grab herself. I mean, that's what you got to pay attention to, especially against like characters who have throw conversions and when those conversions are kill conversions, you just have to pay attention to the numbers. It's, it comes a little bit harder. You, you have to be more careful about what options you want to throw out because if it's not safe on shield, you'll potentially get grabbed and then just lose. I mean, definitely with Inkling, I mean, uh, a lot of you have to play mind games of like when does the inkling want to approach because it's so hard to tell based off of a visual cue so you just have to almost like read okay the inkling's gonna come into a move now basically and then try to punish that and or even then even then that's still hard because like typically whenever k9 wants like his opponent to approach he has no problem just sitting back and shooting laser the inkling's gonna low profile the laser so that option's pretty pretty mute at this point I love that, just to turn around, grab to punish the jab. But you know what? I feel like once K9 gets into his group like he is right now, you no, know, he's just racking up all this damage right now. Yeah, but using the roller and just putting a bit of distance between himself and K9, but that's a great tech chase from K9 as Bruce. Down smash is going to clean up that stock. I feel like K9 
K9's biggest strength is when he's playing that patient game, well, letting his opponent come to him, and then once he gets that crack, that will opening in the shield, then he can go in and go like full K9 mode where he just rips you to shreds. Yeah, he's really trying to utilize, just pushing his momentum as far as he could. Cogmo's bringing it back, seeing more ink get put onto K9. There you go, quick dash attack, throw him off stage. Lands aggressively with the Nair, and it really pays off. And jumping over that roller right there. You know, K9, I was about to say, really starting to, you know, keep his edge in the match. But, you know, it just that quick bear out of shield is going to get punished with the up smash. Just shouldn't have spaced it. Okay, there's another up throw up there into back air. Okay. Mixing up these, these combos a little bit. And one thing that not really seen from, or I should say that Cosmos hasn't been able to land yet. Is like when he's fishing for for K9 to try and approach, and then and then like a falling back air into rapid jab. I think we've seen it like a, once or twice, but it's not really as uh, common as I would have imagined. I would feel like Cosmos isn't trying to go for that falling fair just because it's one of those moves that like when you see it coming and you know it's coming, you can easily parry it. But why go for the risking things when you can just go for up throw up air? I won't be surprised if uh, majority of the kills that we see on K9 are up throw up air. I mean, it's just a really nice, like, kill combo. He does it all. Puts yeah. damage on, kills, combos, and yeah. And I love that. You know, that's one of the great thing, like, frame traps up the ledge is that because the bomb has that, like, delayed explosion, is that if you don't pick an option, the bomb's going to splat you. And the way that Inkling, like, throws out the down smash, it covers both, like, normal getup and full. And the explosion can kind of cover jump, depending on like where you throw it. So it just covers everything if you time it right. Yeah, I think that trap only exists if you let Inkling set it up, though. Like, if you immediately get off the ledge, then, you know, Cosmos doesn't have enough opportunity to really set up down smash. Right. You can weave around the spy bomb. Yeah, you, you have to commit to an option much earlier, uh, but at least that trap doesn't exist anymore. Right there, you know, he's yeah. setting, he's letting Cosmos set up that trap. Right. I mean, it's kind of like that, like Catch-22, where, you know, Inkling, because they have that bear that's just really destroying it, comes out quick, that you don't really want to pick an option, like, immediately, because once you start picking an option immediately, get conditioned to that, then Cosmos can kind of be like, oh, you pick Jump from Ledge, I'm going to go for immediate bear, or, oh, you pick normal get up immediately, I'm just going to go for down smash. And so all it takes is for Cosmos to get like one good read off of your get up option and then they can just kill you for it. Yeah, but at the moment, like he's not really getting reads, he's just setting up traps. I, I would say that in that second half of the game, I don't think Cosmos needed to have a read <laughs> because he was just like, all right, I'm throwing out splat bomb, now I'm down smashing, I have all the options covered, just go ahead and you know, push a button whenever you're ready, and I'll I'm take, ready. Yeah. Okay, but we're seeing a similar start to K9. Ooh, zero to death. Very nice. Very nice. And I love like the way he positioned it, so that like even if, uh, Cosmos was trying to avoid it at all costs, but he still managed to position it in such a way where like it caught like the side of the claw. Yeah, don't really see too many wolves utilize the down air, which is a really strong tool. I mean, that's a pretty wide hitbox for a down air. I believe it doesn't really have a sour spot in terms of the spike, so as long as you time it right, it should like spike no matter where you hit it. Wow. That's oh, that's crazy. it. Yeah. Oh no, he has a jump, but you know what, Cosmos isn't going to let this edge guard go. Or is he? I mean, if if K9 opted for a wolf flash again, I'm pretty sure Cosmos would have gotten the punish. But in fact, he switched it up using the fire wolf to make it back to the ledge. You know, that fire wolf definitely having like a bigger hitbox. It is slower, but I mean like, it's also it's also harder to challenge too when you're recovered from ledge. And there you go, just Cosmo throwing out all those back airs, just waiting for one of them to hit. And again, not really looking like, not really reacting to what K9 is doing. He's just throwing out, he's putting out options and saying, "You have to deal with this." And K9 is just picking the wrong options to deal with it. Right. He's like guessing wrong. Oh, we tried to get another tech chase down smash. Yeah. But Cosmos was ready. You know, Cosmos getting that bear to down tilt. Now he has the trap set up, and 
Wow, read the normal getup, but just did not pull the trigger on time. You know, going for that super heavy forward smash read instead. And this time, we see K9 actually guessing correctly with the neutral getup. An option that we haven't really seen from the leg. But there's a roller and top smash. Easy peasy. I feel like that's the first time we've seen Roller actually hit in the matchup, and I feel like K9 just wasn't ready for that option. You're right. I think the next, the previous time we saw up smash kill, it was a up smash out of shield <laughs> from Cosmos. Here we go. Cosmos and K9 both at zero percent on their last stock. Now, can K9 now bring this back to a game four potentially? And you see, like them, they're, they're just not really committing to anything at this point because they know that like both characters can get oh, so much damage just off of a straight hit. Yeah, well, we see the percent lead was in Kanon's favor. And now a quick up throw up air. Slowly extending the lead for Cosmos. Oh, you no, know, Kanon wanted to reflect it, but it just dropped the reflector at the last second because of the bounce. And all this damage coming out from K9. No, he grabbed a sizable lead. Is Cosmos going to let him escape with that, though? And I don't think the answer is going to be not because, you know what? Maybe Cosmos is going to let it get away. Who knows? See the grab break going in K9's favor. Roller not going to be uh, working on K9 this time. Shields are up smash. Another back throw. Oh. oh. So I jab one, two into grab. Right. You know, but unfortunately the jab was spaced so that he couldn't get the grab in. Oh. oh my god, just barely avoiding the splat bomb right there. That could have just been curtain for K9. And parries in the down smash, and that'll be the game. And K9 brings it to a game four. Okay, but now from here on out, it's gonna be Cosmos' counter pick. So I don't think we're, well, I don't know. I guess we could go back to Pokemon Stadium, but I would I would expect to see a different character switch or a stage I mean, selection. Well, I mean, what stage would you counter pick Wolf to, you know? I mean, I guess Town. Counter yeah. Because Cosmos knows his... Like, Cosmos is getting a lot of the kills from upper up air, right. which he knows his percents, right. and, like, roller up smash. Right. Or just roller... Roller confirms. Yeah, roller confirms. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, Definitely using the platforms to kind of like help him with his combo game could also really help out Cosmos in the matchup. Yeah, if you like think about the way that Cosmos lost Stark, you know, you saw K9 going for Tech Chase down smash, you saw another down smash at the end of this previous game. So probably just trying to extend his life a little bit longer, knowing that he's already putting a lot of damage onto K9 to get him at the correct percent for death. Right. Oh, read the normal getup, but unfortunately, K9 just timing it in a way that he couldn't get the grab when he shielded it off the ledge. Yeah, grabbing, uh, or that mistake kind of put Cosmos in an interesting situation because he was rapid jabbing K9 shield. And unlike other characters, rapid jab was actually using up the ink that inside the ink tank for inkling. So it kind of puts Cosmos in a weird position. Like, does he continue to rapid jab the shield off the ledge, hoping for a poke or that K9 is going to mess up? and deplete your tank, or do you release early and you know, take the punish? Right. And you know what, out of ink right now, but I feel like Inkling is never really in trouble with ink, you know? I feel like just because of their mechanic, like, it's so easy for them to get more ink back, especially when they're playing this, like, kind of, like, giveaway game. And, you know, it does use up, like, a lot of their ink when they do Rapid Jab. I feel like as long as, like, they keep just enough ink to kind of, like, make sure that all their like normal moves still work, they'll be fine. Yeah, but did you, see, did you notice the distance that K9 was constantly keeping between him and Cosmos when Cosmos had no ink? He's making sure that if Cosmos did like commit to going for a little bit of ink, even if it was just a little bit, he's going to be in a position where he could like get a dash attack or you know some type of punish. And that's the, the key to like keeping pressure on your opponent. It's not so much attacking your opponent constantly, it's kind of like using your physical body as a, a pressure tool, you know? Yeah. Knowing that like if you go for this option, I can be quick enough and close in the gap quick enough to uh, punish you for it. That's right. So that's just the key to like really good spacing is know, knowing what your burst range is and what your opponent's dissension option is to kind of counteract that. Okay, another rapid jab for Cosmos. It's gonna ink up K9 pretty well. Ooh, but no tech on the Nair, and no K9 bringing this 
whole set back at this point. No, he's definitely figure out his rhythm against Cosmos, kind of like playing the keep away game in terms of neutral. And you know, I feel like Cosmos is struggling to kind of like, you know, make up as much damage as K9 has been in this matchup since like game three. Uh, rising back air into another back air. Oh no, that's an unfortunate SD from K9. Yeah, holding on to that stock was crucial. Now it puts K9, who could potentially be a tournament stock, but we see an up throw into forward air. Slowly extending the lead a percent. There we go. This is K9 trying to just play the keep away game against Cosmos. You know, doing everything he can to not rack up any more damage, but being fully inked is not going to be able to help that situation at all. And you notice that K9 is getting off these ledges just a little bit quicker. It's not. He's allowing Cosmos to throw out the Splat Bomb, but I think once he sees the Splat Bomb, that's when he's opting to pick an option. Right? Okay, good use of rollers, stalling at the off stage for just a little bit longer. You know what? Inkling out of ink, and this is what the situation you were talking about earlier is that, you know, K9 is facing himself in a way where Cosmos doesn't really want to go for uh, more ink. Or if he can, he can only go for like a split second and then come back up immediately. See fishing for the forward air or back air. Oh, the unsmash going to whip. This is low park line right under that laser. I mean, you know Cosmos is looking for that up throw up air at this point, which I'm not even sure it's going to connect. Looks like he's looking for roller instead, but the roller is going to whip. Now using roller to just stall out the ledge and gain a little bit of distance. Oh, this is going to be a back throw. Okay. Oh, up, not run up up smash. Yeah. I mean, like you said, that ink uses up. Now, Rapid Jab uses up so much ink that Cosmos couldn't afford to hold on to it for a very long time either. So that was really good on K9's part to kind of just sit and shield, wait for Cosmos to kind of like run out of ink basically, or just throw out the final hit of the Rapid Jab and then go for the punish. Yeah, we're running right back to Pokemon Stadium too. K9, of course, locking in with the Wolf. Here we go, game five. No, are we going to see the reverse 3 0 from K9? Or is Cosmos going to steal that out in this final match? I, don't know, I feel like we're going to see a different Cosmos here, but I mean, K9 has momentum going in his favor at the moment. I love what Cosmos does right there because he knows that if he rapid jabs, he's probably going to get punished. So he goes for the jab, jab, and then going for the uh, grab instead. Yeah, it's a good move. Go now, K9 just sitting comfortably, you now trying just playing the keep away game of just jumping, empty hopping, and neutral, and waiting for Cosmos to come to him. Yeah, this is that patient style we've seen K9 like really adapt. I know it was like a bit of a, ne a meme that uh, K9's play style is to just stand there, but uh, I mean, there's a little bit of truth to it. He does, in fact, play a little more patient, and he wants his opponents to approach him, and you know, he can give off that, that kind of a uh, Presence. I feel like when you're playing that kind of play style, the, the patient, no, no, I'm going to let you approach me play, play style, your opponent's more likely to you know, push a button and go offensive. And I feel like in this game, like if you're pressing too many buttons, you're going to get punished eventually. And just like that, K9 just taking this lead to the moon. I mean, honestly, 74% off of that quick combo right there. Trying to throw out the roller, get uh, get rid of this stock, but using jump to escape any sort of punishment that would come up. K9, okay, landing with the roller. Oh, but managing to hit Inkling out of it too, so couldn't get a combo off of it. And again, K9, I love what he did. Kind of just like went directly down, says throwing out attack and just avoiding the up smash. And no, getting an up smash of his own. K9, this is a completely different K9 from games one and two. Yeah, 126, but still sitting on all three stocks. K9 is sitting comfortable right now. Now Cosmos is truly a for, uh, force to approach his opponent. And you know, the more pressure you are to approach, the more likely you are to make a mistake. So coming back from this two-stock deficit, it's going to be really hard for Cosmos to kind of keep his head in the game and you know, play the safe on shield game. Yeah, look at the way that K9's like trying to keep distance between him and Cosmos. You now Cosmos looking for the throw. Even if uh, this is the incorrect percents to get the upper up air. I mean, falling you, up air is all I needed. Yeah. I mean, that up air is so strong that it kills from like the the stage basically, not like high up after an up throw too. 
Yeah, Kanan was at a fairly high percent, and Cosmos did have a little bit of rage. You know? Oh, no, we wanted that bear, but not going to find it. And you know, Cosmos gets a full combo off of it, too. And you know, almost like that, just evening up the stocks. But K9 getting the grab, going for the back throw, sending him off stage. And now here's the ledge trapping situation. Interesting that K9 opted to go for back throw. Typically, we'll see like players hold on to their kill throw. Um, and not utilize it until it's time to actually throw because you don't want to steal it. Right? Okay, there's a big up smash on 150%. We're just a couple hits away. Really, any hit? Woo! That F tilt almost enough. Well, yeah. There's the splat bomb being reflected, but you know what? This is a re grab, and I oh, love that. He the splash back! Yeah. Okay, here come the traps. Oh, okay, forcing the jump from the ledge, but that back throw is going to do it. Yeah. And let's go, K9, because that is a reverse 3 0. Now we're going to see K9 versus Leo in Grand Finals. Yeah, I'm not sure what characters we're going to see come out against K9. But yeah, he did it. We're talking about how he was able to do it.